Tobico's favorite realtor and I'm coming to you from my newest listing at 107 Crendon Drive here in the heart of Etobicoke. Behind me a pristine original home with three plus one bedrooms, two bathrooms, an expansive basement and a modern main floor layout that's gonna wow you. The lot size 45 by over 126 deep. Here I have something very special for you today and I'm so excited to show you. Why don't you come inside and check it out. Honey, I'm home. Check out this foyer, guys. Large entrance here, tons of room. Love this little bit of division here, a little mid-century feature. Two double glass sliding doors with that mirror, making this feel even bigger than it is, and it is big. Mom, dad, just imagine the double storage you get here. All of this space ready to go for that kid stuff, for those coats, for those boots, for those school bags, you name it. Love this foyer. Just gonna note, this is all ceramic, easy to maintain, easy to clean. Come in with the snow, come in with the rain. It's not gonna be a problem. And yes, it's gonna keep that dirt away from our beautiful original hardwood. Love this foyer. I'm gonna take you into the kitchen before I bring you into this main living space. I know you're just dying to see, but let's check out this awesome kitchen. Let's do it. That's right, it's an eat-in kitchen, guys. Yes, we got a table in here. It's a beautiful mid-century table. Love this light fixture. Love this pass-through here. I even like these countertops. They're vintage, but they're in pristine condition. Throughout this tour, you're gonna see that these owners have taken such good care of this property. It's like new in here. You could move in tomorrow. I kid you not. Check this out, guys. Full eat-in kitchen on ceramic into a workspace here. Perfect spot for that. Hey, you're not going to watch TV until you complete that homework. Right here, get it done, sit down right now, and do it. You know what I'm saying. We got the perfect U-shaped kitchen here, guys. This is a chef's kitchen. Come on, cameraman. Tons of space here. I'm moving, I'm cooking, I'm washing. I'm getting the spices from up top. I got the fridge right there to get that beer. Just keep me hydrated, you know, while I'm getting the whole family fed. Love this kitchen layout, guys. We're gonna talk a little bit more later about how you can modernize this layout, but this is very spacious. You could come with an architect, with a contractor, and talk about taking this wall out, really opening it up to that space, but we have so much room in here that I don't know that it necessarily needs that. Food for thought. It's nice to have it perfect as it is, but have that option down the road. Love, love, love this kitchen. Love the big window right in front of the sink. Totally clean appliances, move in tomorrow, make it your own. And again, it's that easy to maintain ceramic all the way through to the foyer. Now meet me around the other side and let me show you this living dining space. You're gonna love it. Guys, I'm in love with this main living space and I'll tell you why. I'm a fan of the mid-century, I'm a fan of the classic hardwood, I'm a fan of high ceilings, Perfect plaster, all done by hand up here. It's not that popcorn. This home is pristine and it's ready to move in. Just look at how modern and awesome it looks as it is. It is clean. Come in and see it in person. This place is ready to go. Love this space for dining. Of course, if you open up this between the kitchen and the dining room space, it'll feel even larger. But look, we got a huge six seater here. It could easily be an eight sitter. I know you got those big family gatherings. You're gonna have them soon. This is the space you're gonna wanna do it. Tons of room here for credenza and another large window bringing in that afternoon sun. You're gonna see the sun reflecting throughout this house. It's a beautiful bright home with a great yard and so much to offer. I love how it showcases itself. I'm just here spitting words. Check out this living room space, guys. This is the spot I have arrived. I am ready to read this fancy magazine and dream about my future here in this home. Tons of room here for massive furniture. We got a large couch here right now. Easy to do a big sectional. You could do another couch across there. We got the perfect spot right where this drink cart is for that big screen TV. Guys, we're always looking. Where do we put that big screen? We'll put it there. Put all your furniture this way. Or if you rearrange things, you could easily get the couch and the seating all over on that side where the cameraman is. But right here, we could also put that big 100 inch screen TV. 
make an opening to the kitchen so that when you're doing your cooking, you can watch your Martha Stewart, you can watch your Julia Childs, you can watch your whoever, Iron Chef, bang baby, it's right there. And yes, the kids can be sitting in here after they do their homework watching that movie. But heck, I think after you see the basement downstairs, you're gonna be thinking, that's the kid zone because this real estate up here, this pristine setup is all adult all the time, but that's gonna be up to you. Love this combination, guys. The flow between the two spaces and ideally the three spaces. There's a really good feel of the walk around here to the kitchen. And of course, because it's eat-in, it feels like a separate, fully utilized space. It doesn't just feel like the kitchen's off on its own. You're really gonna feel the size, the grandeur, and the flow when you come and see this in person. This house, bellissimo. Come check out these bedrooms. Coming into our master. Call in master, master. If you know Metallica, that reference will make sense. Otherwise, guys, tons of room for that king size bed in here. We got a large window here, bringing that light in, bouncing that reflection off that beautiful green grass in the backyard. Cannot wait to show it to you. Tons of room here for a big dresser, tons of room for side tables, tons of room, period, guys. Throw a desk in the corner. We got double sliding door closets here. You're gonna just see so much storage, so much utilization of space in this home. It goes on and on and on, and in a modern layout that's ready to go right now. Maybe a few modernizations and bang, this house is ready to go. Love a double closet, I know you do too. Let's check out another bedroom. Coming in guys, I'm walking on that original hardwood. You're not hearing the squeaks and the creaks. This stuff is in amazing shape. You're gonna see it in person when you come and check it out. Another great room. You could get a king size in here, easily get a queen. Room for dressers, room for side tables. Another closet in here and yet another beautiful window taking me right out into that backyard. These homes are really good sizes in this area and this particular house has so much to offer. I know you're gonna be excited when you come and check it out. I love that we've set up a little desk over here. Again, so many of us are working from home. So many of the kids are doing homeschooling now. We're gonna need that extra space and a house like 107 Crendon Drive has room to breathe and room to grow so that everyone in the family can feel like they have their own space. So important. Let me show you another room. Coming into bedroom three, guys, another double closet, more pristine hardwood, another big space for a queen size bed and side tables, and another great window. Guys, we didn't paint, we didn't do anything in here. We just brought in a little bit of furniture and did a cleaning. That's how great this house is. It's in pristine shape. I know you can tell just from this video. Let me show you the bathroom before I take you down to this killer basement. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling pink. Pink on purpose. Guys, if you check out my Instagram, I've said this before, I have a pink bathroom, call me crazy. Pink is back in like crazy. There's so much you can do. I know you downtown Toronto guys are looking at this house going drool, 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 mid-century. I can play with that, I can make that work. I think this house is so bang on and ready to go for the right people. Right now we got tons of counter space. You've heard of double sinks. How about triple sinks? You got the space here. This is original tile from the 60s and it's in pristine, solid condition. The shower stall's great. The throne is perfect. It's pink. Do not throw that thing out. It's worth money. I can promise you that. Just a ton of space in here. Another window. Such a great amount of pink space. There's not enough pink space. Pink makes me happy. I love this bathroom. Modernize it. Use it as it is. Tweak it. Make it what you will. It's a great space. Now, let me show you this basement. Stop in the name of side entrance. Guys, side entrance, totally bright. Lots of room down the side of the property. Maybe you got an older kid. Maybe you got the in-laws moving in with you. What a great use of space. Side foyer, side entrance, side light. Tons of natural light coming into the basement. This space is just on point. People are spending twenty dollars to $50,000 to get a separate entrance to their basement across the city. Not here at 107 Crendon Drive. It's done for you. Let's go down and check out the rest. Well, I hope you brought your basketball or your hockey sticks because we got an arena-sized family room. Can you hear the echo? Echo, echo, echo. 
you get the point guys check this out I'll tell you big family here really close family that lived in this house for years and what did they have down here well they had a 25 seater dining table for all those big family get-togethers haven't been used in a while obviously but you can tell there's so much space here bring all the families for the weekend and get them party and get them hanging out get all the kids running around in this space guys it's pristine all this wood paneling's in great shape paint it out use it leave it rock the vintage nice vinyl flooring down here easy to clean and we got a huge wood burning fireplace right here it's a great size I know that everyone's been dreaming on those cold winter days on those cold spring days heck it's Canada we have the odd cold summer day you got that wood burning fireplace for all the nostalgia if you're not into wood burning put a gas insert in it love this room so much space big 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 sofa in here tons of room for that big screen TV there's so much ceiling height in here you could even kind of do a tiered theater room for those techies for those people who want the drop down screen what better place to do it I know what you're thinking well if we put that down there I'd like to have a playroom I wish there was more space there is more space guys this is just one of the huge rooms down here in this lower level because this house at 107 Crendon Drive is huge let's check out more before I take you to the rest, I'm gonna show you bathroom number two. Coming into bathroom number two, people, we got a full stand-up shower in here. Great spot for our throne and a vanity. This one's the blue bathroom. It's the, you're feeling a little bit too happy upstairs. You come down to get a little bit more mellow here in the blues bathroom. Love it, privacy window here. Everything kind of set up so that you can sneak down here, have that utility of having that second bathroom and it's out of the way. And it's perfect if you have guests because the plus one is just around the way here and they can have this bathroom as their own kind of private suite. Love it, let's see more. So this might be my favorite room in the house and I'll tell you why. One word. A bar. This brings me right back guys to being a kid, to being 16, having that first beer in my grandpa's bar in the basement. This is actually in better shape. This has all the mirror, all the shelving for your drinks. It's retro. It's got that wood paneling and that plaster detail on the wall that gives it that total Air Force Club special granddad basement feel that we're all after. I know people are gonna maybe wanna update or do different things with this basement and you're allowed, but to me, this baby is ready to go. You gotta have some parties down here. You gotta enjoy that perfect holiday season because this is what life is all about the good times with family and friends. I could talk about the bar all day. Let me talk a little bit more about the space over here. So guys, tons of room here for the couch. This could be another TV room. This could be the playroom. This could be the adult TV bar room. The other room could be that big family room, the kid zone. Lock the doors, let them pay mini sticks and all that stuff in there. Just you can see so much utility to this basement and so much size, so much size. Behind door number one, we have a cantina, runs the full length of the house. Get your wine, get your preserves in there, make the most out of it. Cantinas aren't in that many houses, but when you have one, man, can you take advantage of it? You certainly have one here at 107 Crendon. Let's check out this plus one. Guys, huge bedroom down here, full window, wardrobe, Tons of space. This is as big as any of the bedrooms upstairs. We got vinyl flooring, easy to clean. Guys, it's so dry down here. There's nothing that smells like basement because it's great living space. It's been used as living space and you can tell that when you come to the property and check it out. My favorite wood paneling still here. This paints out beautifully or stick with that retro mid-century vibe. It's back in style, as you know. So much you can do with a room like this. Heck, make it an office, make it a playroom, do what you will. This is a perfect space for a gym. You can get that bar up above your head. Love, love, love this house, guys. There's so much to do with it. Let me show you this furnace room. Just like every room in this house, we got a huge furnace slash laundry room. This space is totally open and totally ready to be imagined. This is the one room I would actually do more with because I think there's so much wasted space. 
This room is bigger than my bedroom. It's bigger than two of the bedrooms upstairs combined. Now, of course, there's tons of storage. There's a chest freezer, all that stuff. You might want that space, but I'm thinking, heck, this could be rejigged to make another bedroom down here or another office or study or maybe a gym or combine it with that room just next door and make it one big space. But for now, it's doing a great job at being a laundry room. We got our laundry basin. This is vintage, you don't get these anymore. And it's doing a great job at being a service room. Neat and tidy. If you were to ever eat off a furnace room floor, bring your fork and knife. This is damn clean down here, guys. I'm in love with this basement. I wanna take you upstairs and out back and show you this yard. I know you're gonna love it. So it's a bit of a mind squeeze when you come out into this side yard because there's so much you can do with this side yard. Right now, you come down the stairs from the kitchen, you can do your grilling out here, but this can be set up as a little courtyard. It's kind of private, completely in the shade over here. Nice little private space tucked behind our garage. Also, if you had people coming around the back to access this space, this could be their little private yard. Say you had the in-laws downstairs and they wanted their own little space away from the kids. That could be set up a little bit differently with a little bit of division here at the side. Now, let me take you into the back and show you this massive yard. This yard just screams pool to me, but of course not everyone wants a pool, but they do want a pool-sized yard, guys. Beautiful fence down this side, some chain link here and there, kind of letting the air and the sun go through, but you could build some privacy fences here if you wanted to kind of encapsulate the yard a bit more. But right now you can see gorgeous mature homes and houses around us, but still private, still very exclusive here in this backyard. Just a tremendous amount of space. As you can see, our 126 deep lot takes us so far back. And that width, that 45 foot width, really showcases itself here at the back. For gardeners, backyard lovers, barbecuers, I know this is ideal for you. And anyone with kids or pets, this fully fenced yard is on point. I love it, I love it, I love it! Let me show you this garage. Hello. So our one dirty secret, yes, we're storing a couple items here in the garage, but that doesn't matter because we all have a bit of an imagination. We can see that we have a huge block garage here, solid, clean, and dry with a little mezzanine up top. So rare to get a big garage here in the city, but you got one here at 107 Crendon. Get a car in there if you got that classic, you just can't, can't get the rain on it, but otherwise you got a huge amount of driveway to get these cars on easily two or three vehicles right here in the driveway. So Etobicoke has been blowing up in the past while and I'll tell you why. Amazing schools, incredible access to the city and so much right at your doorstep in amazing neighborhoods that are so safe and functional. You got great neighbors all around. You got the front porch here to sit outside and wave hello to them. There couldn't be more in this area to offer you and your family. You really do have to come down as soon as possible and check out this property. Call your realtor, call me, it doesn't matter. You gotta see 107 Crendon ASAP. For now, I'm gonna go inside and make myself at home. You guys, well, you can get the heck out of here.